Cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Sedona International Film Festival. I'm your host, Carol Kahn. We are coming to you live from Yavapai College at the Sedona Center, and we would like to thank our sponsors, Northern Arizona Healthcare. And joining me now are two of my favorite people, Mariette and <laughs> Jerry's looking at me like, what? <laughs> Ten minutes now, right? <laughs> well, I've known you a little bit longer. Well, if you count last night, it's 12 minutes. <laughs> okay. And this is why I love them, right? This is the whole entire thing. Well, we did talk at one particular point that he completely, like, blew me off on the phone. So that's, like, one thing. Ooh, that's, <laughs> wow, that's, that's a trick. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm still not over that yet. You know, you broke my heart and... You know, just kind it's of what I do, on. babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's such a pleasure having you both here. It really is. And I do want to say this, that when we did talk on the phone, because we did, <laughs> the one thing that I loved about both of you was not only your banter back and forth, but, like, I could just hear the love, the humor, you know, all of that. And I would have your ears checked right away. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. something. You're she say can that. hear the... That's what we're paid to do is act. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Did he take your take this kind of charm um, when you first met? No, he, he I wasn't was told. charming at all. <laughs> he was he was awful. The two of the two of us. Um, what's the word? Not ridiculed. Um, insulted. Insulted each other for an entire lunch at a Screen Actors Guild huge meeting. And, but the thing that got me in the beginning was, uh, well, it, it, you, you, you tell the, the story about I'm really not ready for it, Doug. <laughs> Perhaps later. <laughs> we, we were both elected, and I had seen her at a, a dinner party for the, for the people who had been elected. They were, they were slates. It was like the Republicans and Democrats. And our slate won with Melissa Gilbert and some other people. And we were both elected. I didn't know her. But I saw her across the crowded room, and I broke into song because, and um, I went to the meeting. No, you, uh, oh, I, I see. I went to the meeting, right. our first national meeting. Together, I went as a, a substitute uh, for James Cromwell, who is six foot five, six foot six. Jerry is five four. No, you don't. Have, I'm sitting down. You didn't have to. <laughs> can let get, get the, That's why I saw it. let it go, <laughs> and. Um, I saw her. I was sitting with all my pals from New York because I had just moved out here. And uh, out here, not here, but in Los Angeles. And I was sitting with uh, the semi-famous actor Tony Roberts. He's a terrific guy. He's a a New York actor. He was sitting with all of his New York cronies. I didn't know anybody from L.A. (laughs) So I was sitting with my New York contingent, and she walked by like five feet away. In leather pants. But I had no idea. I mean, come on. I've been divorced and as she for walked ten years. Bye. I said, "Hoo ha!" <laughs> and Tony turned to me and said, "She's so far above you in more ways than one." And I thought to myself, "What a, what a, oh yeah." <laughs> so we had to go around the room and introduce, introduce ourselves. ourselves. And it got to me, and I said, "Jerry Sirocco, I'm here as a substitute for." James Cromwell, and with that I jumped on a chair because he's six foot five. And I fell off. And she fell off the chair. I was watching her. There were people there. Everybody. He knew. See, he knew (laughs) that that was a way he could get a woman. I guess ingratiate. (laughs) Ingratiate. I needed to ingratiate myself. So I thought I saw her out of the corner of my eye, laughing, and I thought, strike one. (laughs) Followed her to lunch. You notice he's talking in a German accent. I I know. If I I had known that, that, never. (laughs) never. Tugged on her coat, and I said, you're going to eat all that? Plate high, full of greens. greens. And she turned around, and she went, oh, it's you. (laughs) And I said, yeah, it's me. Uh, You're going to eat all that? She said, it's your business, and it was love. First insult. Yes. (laughs) Followed her to a table, and for the next hour, we... I did all my imitations of Brewster. Yeah, that Um, did it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you were a stalker, not you yeah. followed her. You stalked Stra- her. Stalker? Yeah, a stalker. Sta- <laughs> the stalker followed the starker. Yeah, that's right. right. So yeah. that was it. And she uh, 
by the end of the day, actually, um, she made the move. At the end of the day, I followed her to the lobby. Don't don't look. There's no answers up there. There's nothing okay. written. Yeah, oh, I kind of heard there. that too, though, Marriott. I'm yeah. gonna have to say that yeah, you, you made the first move. Well, I said, <laughs> first of all, people said, "What did you first see about him that attracted you?" And it was hard to see him. He was sitting down in a, in a table that was kind of like the table there, and. Um, it, and it was difficult to see him. But I did see his glasses, his white hair, curly hair, and his blue eyes. And I thought, wow, that's a nice looking man. You thought that? Yeah. You might have told me that afterwards. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was the beginning for oh, me. Yeah. yeah. I followed her to the lobby of the hotel. Mm -hmm. And I watched her sign an autograph for a little kid, and 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 I, I overheard what she was saying. And she said, "This isn't for you. You have no idea who I am. This is for your mom. That's your mom, right?" And the woman went, and the little boy went, "Yeah." And she signed the thing, and she gave the kid a big hug. And I thought, "Wow, she's not only pretty, but she's nice and funny." And she and I I appeared, and I said, uh, "So," and she said, "Listen." I heard you're going through a difficult divorce, and I thought, she asked about me. <laughs> she asked about me. <laughs> and she said, look, I know it's rough. I've been been there myself. If you have a, Just for a couple of laughs, nothing serious. We'll just take in a movie. I said, well, okay. And she gave me her number, and she walked out, and I leaped around the lobby for about an hour, <laughs> flying. And we went to a movie and... Wait, you didn't call for a week, a week and a half. Well, I got sick. And I said, where, who are you, who is this? Where, where you can't you say what you really said because <laughs> kids might see this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I said, I, I got sick. She said, your finger was sick, you couldn't dial. That's true. Yes. And off we went to a movie and dinner and... Well, it sounds like it was love at first sight for yes, you. Yes, for me. For nah. you? No, nah. I, I just, I, 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 <laughs> I mean, he was nice and cute and smart, and then I, and I realized he was no, really smart. I mean, the, the defensive humor, which I think he's, you know, being Jewish and all of that, I think he, Boy, I'm he learning so much. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Aren't you glad you're sitting on the yes. couch now? <laughs> I didn't know any of this. <laughs> yeah, I, and and then, well, it took us two, two, two years really to end up. Uh, yeah, yeah. When was the moment that you looked at Jerry and you knew that you were in love with him? He's still looking. <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> no, I I knew. I mean, it, it was it was thank God gradually gradual and that we really did get to know each other and at the, the age that we were we better do that you know I mean when you've been married a couple of times or in Jerry's case once for 29 years you know I, it was conversations that we had and that's in this it's in the script it's in the film one of them which I, I love was uh, he was telling me he said okay so I was been, I've been married 29 years I said what Wait, wait a minute. You were married for 29 years? Yeah. Uh, here in, in Hollywood? Yeah, I mean... Half and half. Half and half. And he said, and... And you were faithful to your wife? And I had heard that. I mean, he had told me that. And I said, you were faithful in this town for 29 years? It would knock me out absolutely knocked me out. Well, I was very busy, you know. Doing what? On the, I, I don't auditions. remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Well, I think that's amazing. I mean, the two of you, when you first told me your story, I mean, number one, meeting in your 60s, dating again, which is definitely not a pretty picture. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. oh my God. We got we got a beautiful review in Arizona, which we were thrilled about, and it said... Atlanta. It, what? Atlanta. Atlanta, right. Um, <laughs> right. And uh, it said, 
the headline was, you think it's tough and getting a, a dating in your 20s, uh, try, try it in your 60s. And oh, you read it. I don't read my reviews. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, anyway, uh, <laughs> it, was a, it was a beautiful review, and, and it made me look at certain things. And that's what's been a, a, the, the journey with the film, is that people see it in a different way or they'll notice different things. And, and the thrill is that they got it. I mean, we've had audiences that got every, I wouldn't call them jokes because we didn't do jokes. We did situations that were human and humorous. And uh, uh, it just thrills us, it thrills me. To hear the first laugh, from people in the film while they're watching the film, not an audience, mind you, three friends. <laughs> I think you, you know, you said audiences. Oh, I'm giving people tonight. Hints. Tomorrow is the first Here. audience that That's we'll see. That's right. It's going to we'll be shared. It's not true. It's not. Yes, it is. Okay. It doesn't bother us that this thing <laughs> possibly could. Boom. Well, first of all, the title of your film is our almost true story. Completely. Completely true story. Yeah, we had to put completely in completely. there. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. Which was fascinating for us. In which we were told to change. By me. <laughs> <laughs> so you so know why we didn't long. change it. It's yeah, too, it's too long. long. And the questions we'll get are going to be, I mean, how are we going to What's true, answer? what isn't true? And, and that was what, I mean, I watched the film. I finally got to see it. Since, you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I finally got to see the whole movie. And, um, yeah, so I questioned, because I talked to you before, so I, yes. I knew your story, right? And so I was trying to figure out what wasn't true in that story. But. Well, the, the only way I can describe it is that it's all true for us. It's, it is the truth. But various um, scenes or various takes on things happen sometimes in different places. Either we couldn't afford the amount of people that were really actually there, like in Tombstone, let's say Tombstone, we mm -hmm. put it in Tombstone. But, um, uh, and we had a lot of extras, and it was great. And a horse. And a horse. Don't forget a lot about of that horse. Uh, so, but the, the actual core of the scenes and the relationship and the way um, the core of our relationship was brought up and uh, came to fruition, all of it was based on truth. Uh, from the being sick, I mean, that was a, a devastating. T in, and I kept learning things about Jerry and about his patience and about his well, his humor, I mean, my God, there's that scene that we had, which was actually true. Go ahead, give it away. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, God, I, I can't don't tell care. Any, anything. Well, you know, you're talking about, you know, a particular scene, a particular movie that people haven't seen yet. Okay, you know what? Um, basically, I invited you <laughs> to come to oh, Hawking. Shut you're up. Supposed to. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but. Uh, by the way, I disagree with what she said. Most of it is not true. Well, I want to hear it. <laughs> oh, I, I can't believe this. Don, Don's, what? our director said yes. that the wonderful thing about it is that it is true. It is the truth about the two of them. The fact that there were certain things that happened in different places because the film had to have it in different places do doesn't matter. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Yes, you are. No, I'm not going to say another word. <laughs> well, All right, tell me, Marriott. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't. Well, it looks like it's... <laughs> but the, great, the great thing for me is that we got all of the little uh, details, which I believe is where the truth was so much, and the, the intimacies um, would kind of pop out in, in various places at various times. And those were the things that I fell in love with. His humor, I mean, when I did go through the illness and I was going through a terrible time and Jerry asked if he could help and I said, no, no, this is awful, I hate it, I'm going. And he walked in finally, it was beautifully shot, and um, he walked in and 
I said, please stay out of the room, stay out. Oh my God, no, stay out. Because it was very embarrassing too. And he got, went into the, into the room and he said, oh my God, this is worse than our first date. <laughs> And I said, if you make me laugh, and I would start to, and that, that happened. I mean, those are the things that turned me toward the, the genuine, generous, loving human being, funny human being that he is. Yeah, I, lo I love that. I mean, seriously. I mean, seeing it in the film, watching both of you. <laughs> It, it really is beautiful. I'm like so, I'm so happy and I'm so envious because I, I see what you have and it's just amazing. Well, me. you know, I, I think I told you about my list. Yes, I was going to ask you that. And that, that was a real base for the film. Um, I actually wanted it to be called something like the list, but I think that was taken. Um, and, um, I was becoming a practitioner in a church, the uh, Church of Religious Science, and uh, one of my test uh, 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 questions was uh, the minister, he happened to be a minister who was teaching class, said, all right, if you get married again, what, is there a list of things that you want, because most of us had, been, had not had successful last marriages. And I went, oh my God, Is, I, first of all, I don't want to get married again, so I really have to write this down? That, yeah, this is part of the final test. <sighs> so I really, I meditated on it, I thought about it, I, th I thought, okay. What is the first thing that I want from a man at the age of 65? Well, I mean, you know, you know I mean, there are different things you think you could, may want, but you really don't that much. I said, all right, what I really want is a sense of humor. That's the base, has to be the base of aging people in a relationship. How else can you, I, I mean, now when I say, you know, to laugh, you don't laugh at the person and point. You, you laugh with the person. You laugh because the person is genuinely funny. So I thought, okay, that's a good beginning. Passionate, capable of giving and receiving love. Now, this is a man that I'm asking for. Uh, I mean, you know, I could say horrible things, uh, but they wouldn't be true. Like, well, I won't say it. Although I do, we do say it in the movie. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, I'm using a computer, which I don't use a computer. For. Now, that's the one part. I'm that sorry, isn't, I dozed off. Oh, <laughs> that's the one part that isn't true. I didn't use a computer. Hey, you certainly did not. <laughs> no, I still don't. I hate it. Um, but, and I had about three or four other things. I could have said hung like, and then I thought, no, that doesn't matter. It would do, how could that truly <laughs> end up mattering? But I forgot height. I completely forgot height. Now that's true, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay. So when I one saw one out of twenty ain't bad. <laughs> when I, right. So when I saw him, yeah, look, I've got to stand up. Why? Because this is how tall well, now I you're am. out of the shot. I know. Right. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm you're not getting up, five, baby. <laughs> I am up. This is it. Get up. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's what we look like. But I don't have my heels on. No, it's all right. It's funnier this way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to sit down now. Oh. Would you care for a cactus? I have an extra. <laughs> but my God, I tell you, it was, I really didn't, I, you know, I looked at him and I said, what is this guy going to teach me about love? You know, I know just about everything there is to know. You know, wow. I've been around for how many years? I started dating very, very early, like maybe 14. Oh my 14? Goodness. Yeah. Boy, this yeah. interview is... Uh, you're learning too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One hour interview and <laughs> spill, maybe. <laughs> wow. Uh, I got some time. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Yeah. In high school. Yeah. And um, so what can this man teach me? Well... 
the universe is very funny. It's, Sometimes. It was almost, almost said, it was, stay with this because you were going to learn things that you, about which you had no idea. And that's true. And I mean that's really true. We have stepkids. I've never been a stepmother in my life. We don't go into that in, in this film. We may write a, another film about it, but it was really tough. And we got through it and continued to, and it's turned into one of the most amazing experiences of my life. That's awesome. And your children were in the film, correct? And your grandson. And daughter. And daughter. Yeah. And, and our daughters. And my son. The only one not in it is her, her son. No, who, but his his arm is in his it. His arm is in yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> he, he was the rose deliverer. He was the rose deliverer. Oh. And it's too bad because he's so gorgeous. Oh yeah. My God. He's about. Oh, but my daughter. He's about six it? foot eleven. Oh. And gorgeous. Oh. And the two of us together. Oh God. You, you don't. Oh. Yeah. Um, but Justine was in it. Um, she played the actress. Who she played your daughter. Yes, my, my well, daughter. I but she, yeah, who's, yeah, your daughter played your daughter, and your daughter played your daughter. Yeah, <laughs> and we, and we didn't know that's that's very good. Just so you no. know. No, they'd kill us. Are you kidding? <laughs> they're, yeah. both, they're both terrific actresses, and that was my... Oh, and, and um, what's your name again? Who's? Who? Yeah. Jerry's uh, son is in it too. He plays. He's the waiter, waiter. with Mindy yep. Sterling in the Mindy Sterling scene. Okay. Well, the thing that I loved about the film as well is family. It was friends that you brought into the film, people that you have worked with in the past. So it seems like it was a whole family oh, affair. We were so knocked out by our friends who. Oh my God. Know, who have a cachet, who've been in the business for so long. And a phone call, and I sent the script, and then yes, and no money. I yes, mean, no yeah. money. Oh, I paid them. You didn't know? No. <laughs> no, I mean we we had to do really low budget SAG, to, and legally and all of that, but they mm -hmm. they didn't care. They just said, Sorry. yeah, count me in. It was really. But, you know, I've thought a little bit about this, and Jerry and I come from the same background: children's theater, community children's theater. As kids, I mean, I was 10 when I went into my lot, yeah. 10, 10 when I went to the, my uh, children's theater group and didn't stop acting after that, every day. It but was, you played men. I played men. And I played women. That's right. I played men because I was this, this tall. And I played I, witches because I was that this tall. <laughs> and Rumpelstiltskin, that is not a witch. No, no. So, um... But we've talked a lot about that. I mean, we, we talk every night, we talk every morning. about, And in general, it's historical stuff or political stuff or whatever. And um, one day we were talking about our, our children's theater experience, and it got into the fact that neither one of us wanted to be a big star. We wanted to be an ense ensemble players. It was gave us more joy than anything, and we realized we kind of looked at one another one day and said, "This is it. This is our dream, to to have this incredible ensemble with with these really wonderful actors." Um, well, anyway. Well, you know, your film is going to be shown tomorrow evening at 4 p.m. Ooh, that's that's that doesn't that work like for a me. Reminder? <laughs> Do you need a wake-up call? Very <laughs> really good. I'll set your alarm Thank so you know. You. <laughs> so it'll be tomorrow. I have to tell you, I love your earrings, and you had the same kind on. Are they, like, homemade or something? I did not make my earrings, but I did Not you, jewelry. but somebody else who could. I mean, last night there were three. Oh, yeah. Same three. Yeah, that's right. Good, yeah. good observation. She was, there, she was there last night? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she, looked, okay. she looked gorgeous. Thank yeah. you. Well, I have so enjoyed having both of you and talking with you several mm -hmm. times. I've really enjoyed both of it, and I really am envious of your relationship and how you met. It's just so beautiful, and you made me cry when we, we talked the last time because I just I feel the sentiment that you both have, and 
it really is beautiful and thank so you. thank you thank you for sharing that with the audience and thank you for sharing that with everybody and um it's just it's just beautiful thank so, you thank you thanks thank for having you. us here well, yeah it's such a it. pleasure i really enjoyed that so and i'll see you tomorrow yeah definitely all right should i write it down <laughs> now i'm gonna buzz you on your i've got your number oh. <laughs> i've got your number <laughs> okay yeah i'll give you a call later okay <laughs> And we, this is such a wonderful experience to have Mariette and Jerry here with us at the Sedona International Film Festival. Um, if you're around, make sure that you visit and see their film tomorrow at the Sedona Performing Arts Center at 4 p.m. 4 o'clock, come. Everybody come. Yes. yes. It, it's fun. 4, I mean, 4, it's 3, whatever. 4. Whenever people four. Can, can make it. <laughs> And thank you thank again. You. Thank and you, we will be back with more from the Sedona International Film Festival after this. Thanks. Yeah.